Unemployment, especially for young people, is extremely high in Europe to this day. People are talking about a lost generation. The Youth Employment Initiative had, was set up in 2013. Is it working? Yes, it is working. I'm happy today that uh, after we have collected all the data from the member states, that we can say it is indeed working. Uh, we still have a youth unemployment that is too high, that's for sure. With 18.6%, this is not an, a level that we can uh, afford for many years, and we will not accept this. So we continue our efforts, but if we compare it with the figures we had three years ago, then we see that at that moment we had more almost 24% of young people unemployed. We created more than one and a half million jobs in three years, and uh, I think we can say it works. We see it in the figures on the youth unemployment. Uh, they went down, they dropped. We see it also in the structural reforms member states did. And we see that now uh, many young people that have no employment or are not in education, that now they receive an offer within four months of having lef left school or uh, having lost their uh, employment, an offer of uh, unemployment education or continued education or training or an apprenticeships. And member states did the structural reforms to make that possible. And I'm sure that this will bear fruit even more in the future than it did in the past. Are there any countries that are dragging their feet? Are there countries that could do better in implementing the youth guarantee? Well, we see that it's difficult to compare member states here because their starting situation is different. You had member states where there was already uh, everything was, let me say, structural okay, and they reached already all young people without a job. Uh, others came from further. Uh, but we see evolution in all the member states, and we are, of course, also evaluating that in, our, uh, in the semester. We give country-specific recommendations to member states, what they should do. But we see that structural reforms uh, in some st member states it, it started slower than in others. Uh, because they had an, a huge effort uh, ahead of them, but everywhere these structural reforms happened and are being rolled out now. So I am hopeful for the future and I'm happy with the results that we have already so far. If I stopped a young person on the streets of Antwerp and asked them, do you know what the Youth Employment Initiative is? Do you think they'd think that was uh, a European Commission initiative that was from Europe and it was a good thing? No. And this I really deplore. And uh, if I told my colleagues that we have to work on certain aspects to improve the Youth Guarantee and the Youth Employment Initiative, one of the elements is our communication. We have to make people, also young people, aware about what Europe is doing. Because they don't know, they are never told that it is a European initiative. Uh, and we have to, uh, to use all kinds of tools to make this very clear to people, because this is typical an, an initiative that is bearing results and that is improving the situation of many young people. And people should know that they are in the heart of our policies, especially young people. We don't want to leave them behind. We will not stop working before we can offer them an employment or a continued education, raise their skills. And of course, it's not only at the labor market side that we have to do this work. We also work at the other side. We have to create more jobs. And this also is in the heart of uh, the mission that we've got from President Juncker uh, when we started with this college. Some of the people, some of the people that this initiative will help uh, will have average skills. Some of them will have very low skills. Are those people, can, can they be trained for the jobs of the future? Well, we just have to. And uh, we now consider digital skills as basic skills. We know that 90% of the jobs of the future will need digital skills. And we see, when we look at the workforce in Europe, younger and older, we see on average that only 40% have the skills they need on the job market in the future. So that's the reason why in a, we developed a skills strategy, we launched a skills strategy, and among other things, there we say, we talk about, uh, we launched also an, a skills guarantee. And this means that every people, all the people, also people that left already school must have, must uh, receive an offer if necessary, must have the occasion to be reskilled or upskilled to have at least the basic digital and also literal, uh, literacy and uh, numeracy skills.